Hey guys, we're cooking a very easy dinner. Let's go. Okay, today I'm gonna have a sheet pan chicken and veggies for you. And it's very yummy because it includes potatoes, some yummy vegetables. It all goes on one sheet pan in the oven and it's so simple to whip up for your family. Let's go. Okay, what we got is we have six pretty large chicken thighs here. And I'm not trimming any of the fat off because I am going to have it get nice and crispy in the oven, which is very yummy. You can trim the fat off if you want. I just prefer not to. And then we have a bag of baby broccoli here from Trader Joe's, so yummy. Um, one medium-sized sweet potato cubed, some tiny baby yellow potatoes, and then a half of a yellow onion. And then I also have some pepper, and then we have two Trader Joe spices here. We have onion salt, the vegan chickenless seasoning salt. So there's salt in both of these, so we're not going in with any extra salt because of that. All right, let's put it together. Okay, you wanna season your chicken with some of that onion salt, which I'm running out of. Have to get more. Normally I would season both sides with that onion salt, but that's okay. We'll just go in a little heavier on this. This is the vegan chickenless seasoning salt, which just has pretty much salt, onion powder, turmeric, and garlic powder. A little bit of pepper. And then we're gonna flip them over and season the same thing on the other side. I also put down parchment paper because I feel like it makes for some easy cleanup it helps from having stuff stick to the pan. But that is optional. You don't have to use parchment paper. Just line your baking sheet with maybe some olive oil or butter. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt on this side just because I ran out of that other seasoning. Perfect, now we're gonna to top our chicken with that sliced onion. Just kind of break it apart and toss it on top. That's really gonna cook down and it'll be nice and soft and it'll give the chicken some yummy flavor. Any of these ingredients can be omitted or you can swap them out for anything you like. Uh, if you don't like onion, you definitely don't have to use them. If you don't like sweet potato, you could cut that out. Whatever you want to do. All right, now we're going to just spread our sweet potato right in the center there. And open the broccoli. These are kind of like longer stalk broccoli, which I tend to like more. Just lay them on the pan just like that. Lay some baby potatoes right in the center. Literally, you don't have to cut them. These are small enough to just put right on the pan. We are going to drizzle some olive oil over everything. A nice amount too. This is what's gonna give that chicken that nice crust. And then with some clean hands, I'm gonna just kind of toss the veggies a little bit. Make sure they're all coated. And then I'm gonna sprinkle the veggies with some salt and some paprika. Paprika is one ingredient that I forgot to mention in the beginning, so sprinkle that over your veggies. And then some salt. And then I like to go in and just kind of pat the seasonings down in, make sure all the oil is just distributed on there. And they're not, it's not just sitting like on top in little puddles. <laughs> it also helps to just get that seasoning down in the chicken instead of just having it sit on top. One more quick little toss with the veggies. I just don't want to get my hands super dirty. <laughs> so I'm just kind of using my tongs. And it's okay that the veggies are hitting the chicken. It doesn't matter. It's all getting cooked, so it doesn't really matter. 
That looks pretty yummy. Very easy. Now we are going to preheat our oven to bake at 400. Set the cook time for about 30 minutes. And then we're going to check it. You want to make sure the inside of your chicken reads 165 degrees Fahrenheit and then it's safe to eat. All right, let's go. I am going to take the broccoli out because it is finished and the rest of the veggies are not. So I don't want it to overcook. So broccoli only took about 20 minutes. It has been about 35 minutes. I added another five minutes on and these are done. Oh my gosh, they look so good. See how the onions kind of caramelized and the potatoes got all wrinkly and yum, 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 yum. Sweet potatoes are finished. And then like I said, I took the broccoli out at about 20 minutes. If this was regular thicker cut broccoli, you probably could leave it in a little bit longer. But since it's not, it uh, cooked a little bit faster. So I'm actually gonna scooch scooch these over here and just add that broccoli right back into all those juices yum and now my family can just come and help themselves all right guys that's it thank you so much for joining me in today's video if you liked it be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and let me know what you want to see next week in the comment section below maybe i'll make it thanks guys see you next time mm -hmm.